Looking to master farming in Medieval Dynasty? Then you're in the right place. Farming is one of the most extensive systems Medieval Dynasty has to offer, but it's not as complicated as some make it out to be. Get yourselves comfortable, because here are 8 tips to master farming in Medieval Dynasty. Let's start tip 1 off with utilizing your farm workers. You can save yourself the work of farming yourself by getting farm hands. Build a farm shed and place the tools they need, those being fertilizer, hose, sickles or scythes, bags, and seeds, either in the farm shed or your resource storage. Then manage your fields in the management tab and set your farmers to seed your fields. In this menu, you will be able to see whether your fields are fertilized, planted, or harvestable, and can change what plants will be grown each season. This is something you will need to do manually each season, by the way. Just make sure the crop that you've chosen is able to be grown that season, else your farmhands will not plant them. Your farmers will do the rest of the work on their own, allowing you to sit back, relax, and work on crafting, management, or whatever you may prefer to do. Tip 2 builds off of Tip 1. Have your farm workers home and farm shed close to the farm plots. Farmers are the only job where their actions in the world have an impact on generating resources. They will need to actively plow, fertilize, and sow your fields during the day. So to optimize any wasted time to and from fields, make sure they live close to their workplace. Sometimes the farmers will walk into the town for the first hour of the morning, so if you can have your farms close to town, that's also a plus. Tip 3 is about big fields. In my opinion, big fields are inefficient. I'm referring to 16x16 16 16 plots, as you will never have more than 4 villagers working on one plot at a time. I recommend breaking those fields down. Maybe 10x10, 10 16x8, 10, somewhere around half the size, especially if you have more than 4 farmers. If you want to make the most out of your fields and have a lot of farm workers, you can make crop specific fields for each crop and ignore management if you'd so desire. But managing your fields at the start of each season is always the best option, and will allow you to generate more crops regardless of where you are in game. Tip 4 goes over skill feats. I recommend taking skilled farmer and skilled orchard for higher crop yields. If you're working on your own farms a lot, take farmer's trance. And if you have the skill points, consider careful farmer. There are a lot of good farming feats and you will probably won't have enough points to take every skill you want, so spend your points wisely. Your villagers won't take advantage of the speed skills, so keep that in mind when choosing skills, as most only affect you personally. Additionally, each field adds a tax, so be sure to pay the king's tax of one like or one sub. Thanks guys, I'm sure you understand. But really, every field and building you build increases your taxes each spring, so keep that in mind. Tip 5 goes over manure. I advise you to try and obtain pigs as soon as possible for the most manure. Many of the other animals can also produce manure, but you will manually have to pick theirs up, while pig manure will passively enter your resource storage with the help of an animal breeder working in the pigsty. In doing so, you won't have to go out of your way to buy manure or fertilizer from town, or wait for berries to decompose into rot, though this may be your best solution if you can't obtain pigs yet or are in the early game. On the topic of animals, Tip 6 is to plant oats and rye as soon as you get animals going. You're going to need to feed your animals. And while you can just buy animal feed, eventually you're going to be going through so much animal feed that you'll be buying out the local villages. So start planting oats and rye for the grain and the straw byproduct so that you can make feed in your barn. And if you are making too much, you can always sell the extras. Tip 7 is to move your field workers into the barn or other jobs during winter. During the winter, your farmers are just going to stand around often because there is little to plant and nothing to harvest. So if you want to get more use out of your farmers during the winter season, set them to your barn, mill, maybe kitchens if you need more food to be produced, but most likely your barn because it's the same skill and it has a lot of worker slots. You could have them thresh any leftover grain, create fertilizer, or anything of that variety. Just make sure to get them back into the farming shed by spring, as that's usually the most important season to have completed. That flax isn't going to grow itself, you know. I should also mention if you do like to plant carrots, you can do so in the winter, but they take two seasons to harvest, and personally, I don't like to waste the plot space in spring if I can help it. And tip 8 is to place your worst workers in the field. Although your villagers will gain farming skill when working out in the fields, they don't actually gather any faster at a higher farming level. So really, anyone can work in the field and it won't make much of a difference. I recommend leaving the high skilled farmers in the animal pens, mills, and barns. Let the lower skilled workers work in the fields if you have them. And if you are interested in seeing a step-by-step -step process on how to plow, fertilize, sow, and harvest your fields, check out this video right here. If you've made it this far, there isn't much left to learn about farming in Medieval Dynasty. Go out there and be the best farmer you can be. Thanks for watching, and take care.